Black Jewel Reborn is a brand new AAA hack and slash game for the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, but also for the Super Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System and the Game Boy. In today's show, we're going to be checking out this brand new game out on Kickstarter at the moment. My name's Mike and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. Welcome back to the Retro Game Boy Show and today we're going to be taking a look at Black Jewel Reborn. Now we previewed this game a couple of months ago but it's now in Kickstarter and not just for our Sega Mega Drive and Genesis but for the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Game Boy. They've sent me a brand new demo of the game and they promise a ton of new changes that really lift the gameplay. So let's jump right into the game. So PSCD Games were bringing us Black Jewel. I covered this a couple of months ago. We did a playthrough of the demo they sent me. I think that was a, a world exclusive demo. Could be completely wrong there, but it felt like one anyway. Uh, and if you remember, uh, I compared it to Golden Axe and I was looking at the um, combat system and thematically how it was, it was structured. Uh, but a lot of you said it was kind of closer to Rastan. And to be honest, it probably is a lot closer to Rastan than it is um, Golden Axe. So, it's an action platformer in a kind of Raston art style, but with a golden axe theme. And it was a really solid demo. I really enjoyed playing it. Now the team said they've made some massive improvements uh, to, the to the level design and to the gameplay. I've not checked those out. I've not checked out the Kickstarter yet because I wanted to come into this demo uh, neutral, fresh eyed to see exactly what they've done to give you guys an unbiased opinion and let you know what I think and whether I'm gonna be backing the Kickstarter. Um, I can't remember if it was two player last time. If it's two player, that's freaking awesome. Because <laughs> it was really, it was a lot of fun last time. But two player, then we've got options. Uh, so if we press start, we can go into options. And we've got music tests. Cool. Sound on, sound off. No difficulty level. No extra continues at this point in the, in the game's development. So uh, this could be a challenging game. Right, uh, we're going to do one player. This is one of the best character select screens I've seen on the Mega Drive. Um, there's, there, there are good ones out there, but this one is up there with some of the best. I mean, the quality of the artwork, the attention to detail, amazing. I'd love to know what those little plaques at the bottom are for them, whether it's going to be their name or, or something along those lines. Right, so we get a bit of story, a bit of uh, background to, to what's happening. But again, a really nice image of our, our two hero characters here. I'm quite keen to see what they've done, what they've changed. They, they've let me know that they've made some changes. Uh, but again, like I said, not tried anything. We want to come into this demo fresh faced to give you guys an unbiased opinion. All right, so we got jump, attack. Ooh! You could, I don't think you could do that last time. You can attack. Yeah, you can attack the bodies. So we've got scenery interaction, which is nice. And the, again, the combat feels exactly the same as last time. Really nice, fast, reactive. Um, you've got multiple attacks that you can perform. You know, you can jump and then attack. It. Oh, hang on a minute. That's new. I didn't expect him. Okay, so they've got a new enemy type. Oh my god. Okay, so they've got a new enemy type in here. And that really mixes things up. Because now I'm having to look at distant ranged attacks and close quarter attacks as well. That's really interesting. Oh my god, they've got it everywhere. <laughs> um, I was not... Ex I'm going to die soon, aren't I? So you'll notice in the top right hand corner, top sorry, top left hand corner there that my health is actually my uh, face uh, and as I lose health you start to see a skeleton and again it's just the attention to detail and for some reason my sword is glowing and I've also got fire, oh I'm dead, oh I was too busy looking at the uh, UI there. So I've got a fire, I've got fire and I've got a sword, uh, let's see what uh, C does. Ooh! And the sword is no longer glowing. Okay, so C is now a special move. That wasn't there before. That's really nice. Does some kind of charge. And it's up again. 
I think it's on the amount of tax you do, because every time I'm trying to watch the game and the UI at the same time here to see what, what charges up that special attack. I can't see what charges up that special attack. Whether it's a potion. Oh, look, as I attack, my sword glows yellow, so maybe it's based on the number of attacks I do. All right, we've got the uh, trees that spit fire there. They were there last time. Oh, I can't duck. I've got to jump. I'm not going to be able to finish this demo at this rate. Right, I need to focus on the actual game itself now. So we've got... Oh, okay, I'm going to die again. Hopefully the end soon, because I'm not not doing well here. I really, really like that they've they've upped the gameplay. It was a little bit easy, to be honest, the first time I played it. It, it, it wasn't... It wasn't super easy, but it was uh, it wasn't a, a big challenge. Oh, everything's gone quiet. Ooh, is this a new end of level? Oh! -ho -ho -ho! What did I press? Okay, so I'm playing on an Xbox joypad because I'm playing on the uh, Kega emulator, obviously, and um, pressing the Y button does a, a Golden Axe-esque special move. Oh. oh, come on. Stop messing about, Mike. This is brilliant. We've got a sub-boss. Sub or maybe this is the new end of level boss. Let's let him fire at me. That special move was absolutely amazing. A full screen special move. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, he's all the way over there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yay! That was really cool. Again, the presentation's really nice there. That little death animation, the spirit going up. Very, very cool. This is a massive, massive improvement. I mean, it's, it's, it's challenging. Uh, it's exciting. I love all these extra little moves they've got. Oh, and the... Oh, I'm dead again. Okay. Right, one life left. Don't mess this up. Concentrate. <laughs> There's so many different attacks. You've got aerial attacks, you've got ranged attacks now, you've got the CQC stuff. It's brilliant. It's really, really good. This is a massive, massive... I mean, it was good before, but this is something... Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I've got one more life. I'm absolutely fluffed it. I have. Oh, don't I need to. I need to focus on playing this a little bit more. I'm getting too excited with all the different uh, additions they've made to the game. Yeah, it's it's a real challenge now. Um, like I said, it was a solid solid when I played the first demo, uh, but this feels so structured, so structured. It's really good. I mean, this could have been. This feels like it could have been one of the big releases back in the day. You know, it's, it's that that good. It's it's kind of Xeno Crisis good in terms of polish, um, mechanics, difficulty. Um, you know, it's not as punishing perhaps as something like Xeno Crisis. But it's, I mean, look at this. I've got multiple directions that I've got to defend against. And the attack feels so responsive that it feels like I can manage all of these different attacks. Oh, that was nice. And again, like, you've got all that those golden axe attacks that you have, right? Multiple attacks. I haven't seen the kick. I mean, maybe I've just not been looking carefully enough. There was a kick he used to do in the... Uh, I remember from the first demo. Oh. Okay. I might have to cut the game and try it again. To see if I can get to the end of the boss. Because I don't think I can do that. He attacked upwards. Cheeky bugger. So they attack upwards as well. So they've got multiple directional attacks for the enemies. Or at least for the um, CQC enemies. Right, there's health there. Come on, get to it. Yep. Okay. I live a little bit longer. Let's get the coins. I'm still not sure what the coins are for. I'd like to think that the coins aren't just for high school. Um, when I go check out the Kickstarter and read a little bit more about it, 
will see if they mention what the coins are for. Because there, there feels like there's a real opportunity to turn those coins into something quite valuable. Like, I don't know, they unlock levels or characters or um, different kinds of potions. Or maybe the amount of coins you have help with, um, help with regenerating special... I don't know. It feels like if the coins could have more meaning to them, um, then I would take more risks in trying to get the coins. It could just be high school, which would be all right. All right. What is that potion there? I got a feeling that potion is... Yeah, that potion's for my fire attack. I'm doing terrible. Go along the bottom here. You see, again, there's chests of money and gold there, which, if they've got no value, if it's only high score, unless I was after a high score, I probably wouldn't go after. Now, unless the chests could hold something else, health, perhaps, or um, something that recharges the special, that'd be kind of cool. So there's a real risk-reward reason for going and looking, after, uh, looking at the chests to see what's in them. You know, if there's potions, so if there was a potion hidden in that, um, there'd be more of a reason for me to go and get it. So I'd like, I wouldn't mind seeing something like that. Because at the moment, you can see the potions sit. Oh my goodness, come on. Ah, <laughs> skills. Come on. Oh, damn. The <laughs> skills, and then jumps down and lands on top of his head. This is new as well. I can't remember going up. Um, I really like this. Love to see some more levels like this. You can imagine a, a waterfall level like Alisonic where you're making your way up a waterfall level. I mean, overall... I mean, this looks like it's the end of the, the level now. But overall, this is a huge improvement. It's taken it from a solid, good game to an excellent game. I, I am really, really enjoying this. End of level. Ooh, this is new. Last time we had a dragon. He just walked up and the dragon flew across a couple of times. I think he dive-bombed. Uh, that was his main attack. But it looks like... Uh, here's the dragon again. So they got a whole new level for the dragon. Oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> this is great! Look at this! That is brilliant. The attention to detail. Let's do our special move there. I'd love to be have more sound effects there. A few more sound effects would be just perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this guy down. Oh yeah, he does do the kick. Oh. Okay, what's he gonna do? Okay, I've not got much health. I can't afford to be this bad, and I'm being really bad at this. One more hit and I'm dead. Oh, no, we didn't finish it. I, look, this is amazing. This is really, really, really cool. The attention to detail is fantastic. I love the quality. We get to continue. Uh, should we continue? Let's continue. Oh, did I die? No, I chopped off his arm. This is going to be a great game. And look, the continues from the boss. Okay, so I've got an extra chance here. Now, I hope they put in continues because the game might be a little bit you could, even though it's a challenge, if you don't have continues in there and it's just infinite, it could be too easy. Well, not too easy. This is brilliant. I love that. I absolutely love that. It won't be too easy, but you know, you can get through the game faster. And I think some of the appeal of old Mega Drive games and Super Nintendo games is, is that you couldn't get through them easily, right? There's a, a little bit of a challenge and when you finally got past somewhere, you felt like you'd um, achieved something. So hopefully there'll be a limited number of continues there. Right, let's see if we can spank this guy. Uh, no, I haven't got that. No, oh, messed up. I thought I had the sword attack. Okay, so I just need to walk here. And I walked into the flames. <laughs> I'm dead already. What's up with you, Mike? This would be great for a, a live at the arcade. Come on, land. There we go. It's so good. It feels so good. 
The attack feels so good. The visuals are great. Really nice audio. I mean, these guys have done an absolutely fantastic job with this. Uh, I'm dead again. I'm messing this up. I should have used my special move as well, right. Stop. Uh, stop landing on the fire, Mike. It's not easy. It doesn't help that I'm not good. <laughs> right, come on. Die, die, die. No. Actually, given how hard it is, maybe I do need infinite continues. No, come on. Yes. Brilliant. And again, we had that, had that death animation in the original uh, demo. That was stunning. Right, let's, uh, let's go talk a little bit more about their Kickstarter and my impressions of the game. That, that was stunning. That was a huge amount of fun. The amount of detail this team have added in since they last sent me a demo is absolutely mind-blowing. All the little cutscenes, the sub-boss levels, the new enemy types, the different kind of attacks, not just melee attacks that come from the left and the right, ranged attacks, directional ranged attacks, attacks that come from the ceiling, attacks that if you jump down, they'll stab you. It's, it's truly amazing what the team have done in just a short period of time. And now to bring this not only to the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive, but also to the Super Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System and the Game Boy, means there's a ton of fans out there, classic retro gaming fans out there, that will be able to get a brand new game for their old console. Now, like I said, the Kickstarter is already underway and you can find the link just in the description below. I definitely, definitely recommend if you love your retro gaming to pick up or at least consider supporting their Kickstarter. Now, one of the great things about PSCD games is they're all about the gamer. And so to start off with the lowest tier, you can get the ROM and the original soundtrack, which is awesome. So if you're only into the ROMs or the physical versions, just a little too pricey for you, there's an option for you, a really affordable option for you to get in and play this game. I definitely recommend investing and backing this game if you can. It's an awesome title. And to get a genre like this, a hack and slash genre, for our 16-bit consoles is really unique. We always get the odd shmup here and there, but to get a different kind of genre, this kind of hack and slash action platformer for our old console at this quality is something really special. And it's something you should definitely have in your collection. Now, if you've enjoyed this show, if you love your retro gaming, brand new games for old consoles, why not consider subscribing? You can do that by clicking on a little button just below this video. We put out brand new retro gaming videos every single Monday, and so that you never miss a show, you can also click on a little bell just below this video. 
Now, if you can't wait until one day, if you need your retro gaming fix now, then don't worry, we've got you covered with a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos for you to enjoy. Two of which you can watch over here.